Hi everyone. With the new configuration profiles being added to console, it makes it a lot easier for users to um, set up ADR and CF lists on devices and labels. So we're going to do a quick walkthrough of how to do that and just um, navigate through kind of the new menu options and things like that. So from the flows page here, you can see the left-hand menu is a little bit different. It's got this configs um, subsection in here. And in that you can see alerts, profiles, and multiple packets. So right now talking about configuration profiles, we're gonna click on profiles here. So here's where you can create profiles. Like I said, it allows you to um, add ADR or enable the CF list. You can see I already have two profiles created, one called ADR that just has ADR allowed, another one called CF list that just has the CF list enabled. But if I wanna create one more, I'm just gonna click on the little plus add profile i'm going to do both for this one so i can toggle these on or off but i allow adr and i enable the cf list both and then create profile so very simple for that um one thing to note if you delete a profile a little warning message will come up that say it's applied to a device. I have it applied to test device one. So it just makes it just kind of double checks with me. Do I really want to delete this profile because it is applied to something? I'm actually not going to delete it right now because we're going to use it. But just note that if you have it applied to a label or a device, you will get this little um, message just alerting you and ask double checking with you. OK, so if I go back to flows, I'm going to add test device one down here. So you can see this little icon and um, it might look kind of weird. So we're gonna click on the device, bring up the inspector. We're gonna go to profiles, all right, or profile for this device. And you can see I have the ADR profile already enabled on this device. If I toggle it off, that gets rid of that little icon. So that icon you saw shows that one profile has been applied to that device. So as you can see, I have ADR allowed for this device. So um, again, you can toggle that off. You can add others. The same icon is going to show up. So you need to make sure you know which profile is applied to the device. Again, I'm going to use ADR for that. OK, close out of here. And now I'm going to add a label to my flows workspace see this label has if i go to the inspector and then profiles i have the cf list applied to this label now remember i had the adr only applied to the test device cf list applied to the label you can also see there's a little warning message there on that label just telling me and you can see in the inspector that it just the label contains no devices so it's just telling you to add a lab, add a device to that label so one important note that i want to make sure everyone can see is because this label has a different profile than test device one. So if I click on test device one, I add a label. I'm going to add that test devices label. We're going to get this. So basically what happens is if a label has a different profile attached to it than a device and I attach that label to the device, the profile that is attached to the label will override the profile applied to the device. So here the device already has a profile applied to it. Um, if I click continue, it's going to override that and the device will take the same profile as the label that's attached to it. So I'm going to continue. So now if I look at test device one, its profile has been switched from ADR to CF list because that's the profile that the label test devices had on it. Okay, um, other than that, it's pretty simple to get these configuration profiles up and running. It just makes it, like I said, a little bit easier to, um, and more streamlined for you to add these um, profiles to devices and labels. All right, thank you very much and hope to see you on console. Bye everyone.